Good morning, my dearest friends, and welcome to this Sunday's Reflection. Today is the third Sunday in Ordinary Time. The theme for our reflection today is Out of Darkness. My dearest friends, the liturgy of the world today begins with the prophecy of Isaiah chapter 9. The people who walk in darkness have seen a great light. And the Gospel of St. Matthew chapter 4 from verse 12 to 23 following also re-echoes this prophecy of Isaiah that truly light has come to dispel darkness. My dearest friends, in this prophecy of Isaiah, two important cities were mentioned, Naphtali and Zebulon. Do you know why? Because these two cities were the first to be attacked, to be taken over when the Assyrians invaded the northern kingdom, Israel. Naphtali and Zebulun were the first two cities to be ravaged. They fell into darkness and they lived with that stigma until this prophecy of Isaiah, which the Gospel of St. Matthew finds its fulfillment in Jesus Christ. My dearest friends, when we talk about darkness, what does it mean? It's a state of hopelessness, a state of nothingness, a state of helplessness. And so, we can talk about Israel as experiencing darkness after their exilic experience. But what led them to that darkness, my dearest friends? The rejection of God and the failure to hearken to the words of God. They abandoned God and when even God had warned them about the impending exile and punishment. They refused to listen until they fell into that situation. And so darkness begins with rejection of God. From that spiritual dimension, it spreads to other parts, our physical life, our political life, our social life, our psychological state, and everything crumbles as a result of that. That is what it means to experience darkness. This was the state that Israel was before Isaiah made this prophecy. And Matthew today tells us that this prophecy has been fulfilled in the coming of Jesus, the light who has come into the world. Even though men prefer darkness to light, Jesus, the light, has offered himself to you and I. Are we ready to accept him? Why the invasion of Naphtali and Zebulun began the exilic mission of the northern kingdom, Israel? Jesus in the gospel of today begins his ministry, his preaching from this same region to bring light unto them so that this light can spread to other parts. And so my brothers and sisters, darkness is not what we should wish for even our enemies. And our darkness becomes even grave when we fail to recognize our situation and come out of it. As we celebrate this holiday, the liturgy of the world reminds us that the first step that leads to darkness is rejection of God and rejection of his ways and his will. And Jesus in the Gospel of today tells us to embrace the light and the path to embracing the light is accepting him, turning around, repentance, conversion, 
that is the step, that is the direction towards the light. In the second reading of today, from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 1 from verse 10 and following, St. Paul underlined one characteristic of darkness, division in the church and in our society, divisions of all kinds, discrimination, tribalism, racism. These are forms, elements of darkness in our world today. And only Christ, who is the light, can help us to allow that light to dispel the darkness of our world. As we celebrate this day, my dearest friends, let us ask the Lord to grant us the grace to embrace him by first of all, changing our lifestyle, being converted, to repent, to follow the path that Christ has opened for us because he is the way, the truth, and the life. God bless you and have a beautiful day.